guys, it's Lily, and this is a requested video um, from one of my friends about how to take care of a ball python. So this is my ball python. His name is Richie. He's adorable, and I guess he's going to say hi to you now. No, he wants to get on the bookshelf. Anyway, this is Richie. He is a two-year-old, um, I guess he's about three feet long. And, um... So to take care of ball pythons, the first thing you need is a large tank. Um, I have a 40 gallon one, and that should support him for pretty much his whole life, but you can use a slightly smaller one. Um, they can get pretty big. Um, I think my mom's friend has one that's about six feet long and about that thick and eats like uh, two rats every week or something like that. Richie eats two small mice every Wednesday. so. Um, I just feed them frozen mice. You can get them at any pet store. So, um, yeah, I recommend feeding them at least once a week. Um, it depends on your python. You know, I test it out and see what they eat, but I haven't... Um, pretty much almost all of them will eat um, frozen mice, so that should be okay. Um, in this tank, I have a large water bowl that I fill every day with fresh, clean water. Um, I have wood chips down on the bottom of this cage and I have like a piece of carpet under that because um, it just makes everything a lot easier and if you put a heating pad under your tank, which I recommend, um, it keeps him from getting him burnt because uh, we had a problem with that with um, our other snake. We didn't have anything down on the bottom but wood chips and stuff and he got um, a little burn on him. You know, he was okay but it's just not good for them. I also have a heating lamp on top of this cage. Um, I put it over the log I have. Like you can get them in a pet store. It's like a little hollowed out log thing that you can sleep under because they need somewhere to hide and something to sit on. So that works out really well. Um, you want to try and keep them at least, uh, you know, somewhere around 80 degrees. And you need lots and lots of fresh water. Um, Richie sleeps in his bathtub a lot. And, um, yeah, just make sure that you can handle it and, um, don't put them in the wild. That's very bad. Um, I give Richie lots of outside time. I take him down to the creek in my backyard. I put him in the grass and let him check things out. Um, I let him sunbathe if he wants to, but, um, if you're going to take him outside, keep an eye on them because they will get away and they're pretty fast. Um, Richie did once. Um, if you have a tank that has like a, a top that you just kind of lift up, I suggest putting down rocks or something because they will get out. They are very talented escape artists. Richie got out of his cage. There was like a little tiny hole in the screen, maybe this big, not like even big enough for his head to fit through. And he squiggled his way right out and got out and got under my bed and I had to pull him out and that wasn't fun. Um, they don't really bite. Or at least, I've never been bitten by one, and I'm, you know, not a bunch of them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you guys need to know about taking care of a ball python. And if there's any other questions, feel free to ask me. Okay, bye guys. Say bye, Richie. Mm -hmm.